Hey team, I'm Greg, and this is Studio 214. Today we train. Everyone needs to train to keep their skills tight, and artists are no exception. Sometimes it's a good idea just to try some repetitions to get some good practice in. Or in my case, you need a little help with your pine trees. Either way, training good. I highly recommend getting some good quality paper to practice on. I start with canvas paper, tape down, and get some trunks in. I'm using the tip of my brush for those, and it's giving me a straight line for limbs, and that's no good from pine trees. I want broken up shapes, not limbs in a row. That just made it muddy. A little highlight gets the shape back. But I want to try to do better. Start with the trump again. Now I'm really pushing down hard and putting the angle of the fan brush uh, uh, adjacent to the side of the desk and perpendicular to it. So it, it really pushed down harder, I'm trying to get some swooping to the leaves. It broke up the straight lines I was getting, but now it just looks muddy. That's no good either, so I have to come up with something different. To try to hide that I smushed the brushes down, I'm going to make a, a bunch of trees. Which makes the, uh, the, the darkness of all that green kind of fit in a little bit better, I think. I saw this a long time ago, I think it was Kevin's oil paintings, and he had a tree going sideways and for some reason it just stuck in my mind and really it's a great way to break up a bunch of trees in a row. So I use it all the time, sometimes too often as you'll see later. You never want to make your trees all the same height because, well, that looks unnatural. So I go with one really high up and I'm going to use a different brush this time and try to get a different type of pine tree. I'm using a uh, small filbert. Had it for a long time. Throwing in some burnt umber just to get the, the trunk, because I don't want as much leaves at first as I have as much pine cones, leaves. Needles? Pine needles. Duh. Yeah, but I got muddy, didn't like it, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it a traditional one. I gotta make sure, since it's really kind of uniform at the top there, that uh, I really spread out the bottom leaves so it doesn't look like it's just a straight tree, because that, that doesn't happen in the, in the wild either. Hopefully some highlight will break up the form a little bit and uh, make it look more like it's you'd, you'd see it in nature. I figure since I'm I got my paint out, I might as well finish up the painting, or the study. It's not a painting, it's a study. And sort of make it fit in. But you know, I found something out about myself. I don't like negative space. That white section there, it's killing me. It's like, it feels like it's an unfinished painting. So I'm gonna overdo it and overpaint. I should stop right now. That looks great, actually. Stop now, but I'm not gonna. But this is why we train. And this is why I like to look back at my paintings and see what I did. Any time now, I should stop. I'm here to paint pine trees, not get bogged down in the foreground. There is no foreground. It's a, it's a study. See, here I am putting umber in. Don't be like me. Since I overdid it with the uh, foliage there and the underneath the trees. I gotta make it look like the trees are in front. And a bit more highlight. See, I, I'm really trying to cover up all that white negative space. I just should have left it. Now I'm having a problem with the negative face in the background. I should just leave it. It looks fine. So I'm gonna throw in a few more trees. Varying the color. Put some red in with your green, and it really fades it to like a, an army OD green, which makes it look really far back. Especially if you maintain your negative space. See, there, there I am overdoing the, 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 the leaning tree. One looks good, multiple looks, I don't know, weird. One more, and I think that's all. Oh, one more. Last one, maybe.
yep, just gonna fill it in. That's uh, supposed to be a really far back tree, so it's got a lot of red in it. A lot of red in that green. So anyway, team, I think we're done for today. Thanks for hanging out. New paintings every Thursday. And new videos of all sorts on Tuesday, kind of like this one. If you dig what you saw, please consider subscribing. Either way, I hope to see you back next week. As for me, I'm going to the house. For Studio 214, I'm Greg. See you next time.